What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chucky. Uh, there's a little button right down there. It's a subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all push that. Show some support. Uh, I'm going to have videos coming up uh, pretty much almost every week. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything y'all want to learn to make. I'll make it. Uh, if y'all got a recipe that I don't know, please leave a comment. Let me know. I'm always willing to learn new things. And uh, y'all hang tight because I'm going to bring you another one. What's up everybody and we are here with another one uh, on today's menu is chow made with eggs uh, it's a really good winter bait uh, carp are constantly searching for protein in the winter time they move slower bite slower so they need the protein uh, for energy so uh, and I've had several people comment send me messages and stuff wanting to know how to keep their baits on the hooks uh, how come they won't break down all kinds of stuff uh, and I'm on them tell you how to damn fix all that. Uh, I'm gonna go through each little detail. We're gonna pack it. We're gonna do a brake test. Uh, we're gonna get this thing figured out together. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is three pounds of chow, three eggs, and whatever flavoring you wanna use. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of mixture today, uh, and we'll get into the flavors a little bit later on. Uh, so, we'll pour the chow into the bucket. Bear with me, I'm still, haven't got a tripod yet. I'm still trying to do this crap with one hand here. So, making this with one hand and holding the camera in the other might be a little task, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it together. All right, let's see here. And uh, always mix your dry first. Never start out with liquid. It won't never work out too good for you. All right, you take your three eggs. Now, some people put the whole shell and everything in the eggs. I mean, if you, if that's your preference and stuff, uh, so be it. Uh, but I'm not gonna put the eggs in there. Uh, sometimes the eggs can make it a little bit harder to break down. Uh, so I'm just gonna do just the oak. If you happen to drop a couple of little pieces of shell in there, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. It'd be all right. All right. And okay, we're gonna mix that up real nice like. Sorry for the camera movement. I know it's a pain in the butt. I'm kind of wild, probably giving y'all a headache. Make sure y'all pull it all the way down from the bottom of the bucket. Don't leave no dry spots. Gotta get that big ball in there real good. about right we're gonna get the hand off a little bit okay and uh now really all you need to do is uh dump your flavoring in there i'm using outlaw black pearl most people you know when they do the videos and stuff you know they'll uh They'll tell you how to make the bait, but they won't tell you what flavoring they're using. The flavoring is the main ingredient. But I don't give a damn. I want people to catch fish. And if my baits that I'm making is helping other people catch fish, then I'm satisfied. You know what I'm saying? It makes me feel good knowing 
that I'm helping other people catch fish. That's what the Carolina carpet is all about. A lot of people get out there, they don't tell you what to throw in and all that kind of stuff. Man, that's just unsportsmanlike, if you ask me. Uh, I normally go by caps, but I'm just gonna kind of eye it this time. Just pull a little bit. This is real concentrated. It won't take a whole lot of this stuff here. Put that in there. All right. And uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of R&W's carp catcher. This is a, uh, it's a sweet potato spice. Uh, sweet potato is a real good flavor to use in the winter time. I'm telling you, if you use sweet potato in your bait, I promise you, you'll catch fish pretty much anywhere. Any kind of lake, probably bite it. Some good stuff, so I'm just gonna mix it in. Now, Black Pearl is a grape. I had, forgot to tell y'all that. Black Pearl is a grape, but it's so it's a different grape. I ain't never, I've used grapes. Grapes are one of my favorite flavors, and I've used grapes pretty much with all different types of flavors, and uh, I've never had a grape that smells like the Black Pearl does. It smells really good. And uh, let's get that, all right, we'll mix that in. It's already about ready to pack now. I usually like to set it sit about 15, 20 minutes. But I can already feel it right now that it's already about ready to pack, yeah. Now, I ain't going fishing. I'm going fishing tomorrow. Uh, you know, it, it'll probably dry out before morning for the draw time tomorrow. But uh, that's all right. You know, you just add a little bit of pond water to it. And uh, I'll get to that part, you know, some people just like to take a little cup of water and dump it in there and then they end up ruining it from getting it too wet. I'll show you a way to add water to it, you know, without ruining it, messing it up. All right, well, I'm going to let this sit for about five, ten minutes and then we'll come back and uh, do a break test. Okay, so it's been about you know, five, 10 minutes or so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack a ball and I'm gonna explain. Normally I'd pack it with two hands around a hook and uh, it don't take no rocket scientist to figure that out. So I am gonna pack it for you the best I can with one hand. Yeah, sometimes with child, if you pack it too tight, it don't wanna break. If you don't pack it tight enough, you'll throw it off your hook. Uh, but you can kind of just feel it and tell if it's going to stay on your hook or not. <sighs> I'm packing it pretty tight. You know, I wanted to make sure it break down if you pack it tight. So this is what it should look like. Now, it should be rough like this on the outside. Uh, if it's real smooth, chances are it's not going to break down. You got it too wet if it's real smooth or doughy feeling. So... And you don't want that. You want it kind of rough on the outside, you know. And if it looks like this, you can pack the shit out of it as tight as you can get it. And it'll break down as long as it looks like this. Now, as the day goes on, it'll dry out. You might have to add a little palm water to it. And with the moisture in the air, it could get too wet without you even adding water to it. Uh, so you just got to kind of keep an eye on it. Keep the lid on it. Don't leave your lid off of it when you're not using it. So we're going to go ahead and do a little break test. And I got this water super, super cold because, you know, it is winter time. The water out there is cold, so you want to kind of know what you're throwing. I mean, you want to know what you make sure your break time is going to be good enough to break down in the cold water. As you can see, them bubbles coming off of there like that. I can already tell you right now, it's going to break. Try to take the time, make sure you're going to see see how long it exactly takes. Mm. Another good bait to use in the winter time is panko, and I'll probably do a video of that too. Uh, 
Panko is a pain in the ass to use, really. I mean, you either it either won't stay on your hook or it won't break one or the other. You kind of got to, it's kind of, you kind of got to get it somewhere in between somewhere for Panko. That's more of an experience type of bait, but it works really good in the winter. It's still bubbling there. And I got this water super cold, so it may take a little bit longer than wood and warm water to break. But uh, but the bubble, if you see bubbles coming out of it, that's a good sign. See, it's already starting to fall apart a little bit. See, you see, they don't, you don't see no flavoring coming off the ball. Uh, that's because I didn't really use a whole lot of flavoring. Uh, some people would just soak their, just soak their dang bait in flavor and stuff, and they wonder why they don't catch nothing but peckerheads. Uh, big carp tend to be chased off by a lot of flavoring, so I just use just a little bit. The carp can tell if it's got flavoring or not, so it don't take much, especially if it's real concentrated. Outlaws, R&W, and both of those are probably the two best flavor companies out there. And uh, I highly recommend you using one of them too. A lot of people are going to that Bait Pro now. And I, I got my reasons of why I don't use Bait Pro, uh, but that's for a whole nother story. But uh, as you can see, it's breaking. But while that's finishing breaking, we can talk a little bit about the Black Pearl. The R&W carp catcher. It's a sweet potato. Uh, grape is usually a good flavor to use in the winter time. You know, I got plenty of flavors, so sometimes I only use half the ones I got. But uh, yeah, it's breaking now, buddy. But you know, water's super cold, so it's just gonna take a little bit longer. Maybe five, six minutes it might take to break. Uh, but you know. Uh, if your bait ever dries out, if it ever dries out, and it will, especially if you, if you make the chow right, the longer it sits, it will dry out. You'll have to add water to it if you make it right the first time. Uh, the best way to add water to it without adding too much is just you just take a little bit of water in your hands here and sprinkle it on there like that. Just sprinkle it on there like that. Just mix it as you do it. You can tell by the feel whether you're getting it right or not. If you just take a cup of water and just dump it in there, you're going to have too much to it. A couple of sprinkles of water go a long way in chow. Okay. And make sure you wet your hands too before you pack it. A lot of people don't wet their hands and they wonder why they can't get it to pack real good. Sometimes wetting your hands, it just gives you enough liquid to get it packed just right. But other than that, see it's still taking a little bit of time to break. Always make sure when you're using chow or panko or anything like that, make sure you keep some crack corn on hand or some wheat band on hand. If it ain't breaking down, you add some wheat bran or some cracked corn to it, and trust me, it'll break down. But, see, I just barely touched it and it crumbled, so yeah, it'll break. This takes a little longer. It's wintertime fishing, cold water sucks. Uh, you know, fish are pretty much biting slow anywhere you go. If you catch two or three fish, you're doing good. But other than that, man, that's about it. Uh, leave some comments. If y'all got any baits y'all want to make or if y'all got some uh, baits that I don't know about, help send a comment and uh, I will be happy to learn something new. And hit that subscribe button or that like button, depending on if you're watching it on Facebook or YouTube. I'm going to post this video on both websites. But uh, other than that, you know, and uh, we'll see you out there. Tight lines.